Um. Okay, so we got to a location we were looking for. Oh yeah, it's gonna go black a second until everything. Ah, there you go. Uh, continue, please. Talk to this weird guy. Let me f I need to find the guy with the... I need to find... I need to give somebody Scoundrel. Maybe I can give... Uh, maybe I can give Scarlet Scoundrel, but at the same time, she's... She's our... Mm. Oh! Oh, wait. We are... Uh... Okay, so that's Unsinkable Sam. Uh, that There's that little uh, side quest. We're, up, we're about to play Matchmaker for a couple cats. town yet have you jolly good join me why don't you for a scandalously milky saucer of barrel leaf tea hmm. uh about unsinkable sam oh he's a darling old tom isn't he pours over tales in love with me and who can blame him the feelings well it's rather mutual actually but that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name at the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they, with an alley cat for a papa? Oh dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. Okay. Time to get back in. Hey, um, hey, Sam. Got some unfortunate news for you, buddy. What's with you, bipeds and beer? No better drink than milk. Uh, about Maxine. Uh, so there's the rub. I am but a stray, and she is the mayor's cat. Oh, I do understand her, I do. She wants a tom of means, not privation. One who brings home the sardines and the occasional halibut. Would that I still had my collar. Such a marvel it was, as bejeweled as the night sky with precious stones, said to have once been worn by Afar of Maharaja's best hunting cheater. Like the king of all cats, I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess whom I had kept company during a long and perilous voyage. A precious band of gemstones, lost as I was tossed around by the waves like a ball in a game of catch. Among the waves it remains, I imagine. Worn perhaps by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only I could be the Caesar again, and Maxine my Caesarina. <laughs> okay, that one, that one's a, uh, that was a little, that one was a little weird. Well, anyways, uh, quest markers, a strange cave, Esmeralda, wait, we're not done with talking about Esmeralda yet? Huh. We might need to look at this. Kitty love. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go find that. Cecile's mighty staff. According to Conrad, Didemir is probably trying to launch from one of the secluded beaches in the area. The counselor's alive. Uh, 
evidence that con uh, conclusively links her to her husband's death. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't think he'll be down in this area. Hmm. Might need to actually start going this way a bit. So. By the way, how much gold do I have? 561. Oh. I don't suppose I could walk through. Hey, Duncan, how's it going? Hey, bud. I don't suppose I can walk through here. What you been up to, man? to remain closed at all times captain's orders hmm wait a second will i be a little red imp's uncle the source hunter sorry for the gruff treatment i didn't recognize you right away please tell me how can i aid the investigation uh so civilians aren't allowed outside this gate you can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the orcs put on a fortnight ago they did enough damage to shake up ahu and captain aurea something fierce doing good been a wild day oh really we can only going on? hope to hold back the undead and these left field orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Open the gate, please. You don't look like you're quite ready to head out into the wilds to me. You may have the right number of champions in your party, yet in experience, I think you're lacking. Of course, the choice is yours, but are you sure you want to venture out? On second thought, let's leave the gate closed. Thank you for heeding my words of warning, Hunter. Sysil needs you, needs you alive and well. We'll take his word. <laughs> it usually means, yeah, we're uh, very, we're very under level. Usually, uh, I think we need to go up here though. Wow, they are, they are moving along, aren't they? They are, they are moving along. Those bony Thank brutes you, will sir. never make it inside Do these walls. Sir. Baking like a cake. Excellent. Good Let's luck keep out it that there, way. Hunter. Evil lurks beyond Cecile's ramparts. I need to dry off. All good. Just wasn't expecting to hit my uh, follower goal in January. Nice. Good on you, man. All right. Uh. Well, time to see how. Uh... Oh. Knocked down, failed. Oh, well. Fantastic. How about we attempt it on you? Nice. Um. Thought March was optimistic? Oh, well. Occasionally that happens. Uh, let's go ahead and pop 
You on out? I'll go ahead and move forward a bit. Your turn. Oh, God. Yeah, let's drop you down here. Ooh. Wait, that was 30 damage? Oh, hey. Enough action points. Wait, what? Twenty three percent. Oh, God. Apparently, we got to move you forward. Okay. Awesome. And then we'll of the destruction you. Nice. Um, I'm going to throw on a regeneration. Okay, that's going to take... Oh, well, fantastic. I'm going to steal too far. Blar. was a three use larg Ooh, nice frozen oh hi oh this is this guy this got fantastic where's the music at at least we got ambient background noise uh, uh, except mute uh, uh, well anyways uh 100 percent ooh nice uh Stand strong, strike harder. Oh, that's poisoned. Oh, God. That's... Oh, that's not good. I say that because they're going to heal from being poisoned. Run right away. This is Oh, this is this is not good. Oh, that's right. There's so oh. I quit save before this, right? 
I'm dying. Oh, it's gonna start us all the way over here. At least this will be. At least this will be quick. <laughs> We're not quite ready for that combat yet. What's with you? I would the, like the among the way. Um, let's... Wait, weren't we in here to... <laughs> oh, excuse me! I'm... I was about to go and... Mute myself before I sneeze, but too late. Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. I've spoken, Aureus. Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Oh, fantastic. He's in play here, all right? What? What happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. Aha. Uh -huh. How'd you get here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Proper introductions. Zigzags the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. Uh -huh. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as what? Two, three. How you got here, though? That's a rather more interesting question. Uh huh. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Why is this place, as you say, shrinking? I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. How can time come to an end? Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon to be terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. Might be quite, quite mad. Then we'd better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. You looked. You 
you saw. Terrifying, isn't What's this? The portal. It's... It's... It's quite sprung to life, just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something yeah. here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Can we first discuss what we just witnessed through your looking lens? Goodness me, how right you are! There's so much to take in, I Yeah, because I would like questions. I would like my questions answered. I've my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. You believe we are somehow connected to this plane? It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Wait. That leaves the question of... How have you remained alive all this time? What do you eat? Oh. A nasty thought just appeared in my thought. Hopefully that's not right. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The Chronicler of Time knows a pattern when he sees one. Oh, why did that... Why did that pop in my head? Uh, I, I, oh, oh, that thought is so... Uh, no, it will not even sail on stream. Uh, nope. Uh, anyways, well, I have a weird mind sometimes, and sometimes it goes into the not-so-great area. Especially when I go to uh, thinking about certain things, aspects like this. How does he survive? I will not go into detail of what went through my mind. Anyways, what lies beyond this portal? Ah, though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagued your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. Rude! But through the portal then. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. You first, you first. But don't dilly dally. I'm gonna di diddle daddly because I want to make sure I'm not miss I, mean, I don't end up missing any loot. Ah, uh, there really isn't. So, uh, quick save and into the portal we go. Yes, just as I hoped. There she is. There it is. Come, come, don't delay. And he's off. It seems the Imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Author of all that has ever been. Indeed, Sir Imp. As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you. So much to ask. So much to say. You oh. have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. 
You're the Weaver of Time. Would you would you not have expected us to come here? My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? If you truly are the Weaver of Time, I, I imagine you already know the answer to that. If any other being in Rivalon asked me about the details of their comings and goings, I could describe them down to the minutest of details. But you are different. Of you, I see nothing. I know nothing. So please, do tell me. How did you arrive here? Okay. It was a stone, a strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this plane among the stars. A stone? So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? What? Uh, yeah, that's just what happened. Have you seen it before? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Okay, so now you can see where we are? Is that where you're going on? Hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say, but I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. Uh, what is this Starstone exactly? Where does it come from? Starstone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. Hmm. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Yes, though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the Void will consume us all. These stones can heal history. We must seek them out. Indeed you must, though I may not yet understand why. It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Why, of course, that's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see, collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. 
Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. That shall never be, milady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the Void. Please, our most mysterious guest, are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? Not but a moment ago, we were hunting source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Nothing for you if you're up to the challenge. 